If you're a new employee, welcome to the company. If you've been with us for a while, we'd like to thank you for your contribution to our success. Teamwork is the key to success, and it's our job to help you be successful. So we'd like to take a short time to provide you with some basic safety information that applies to everyone's job. This program is a general restaurant safety overview. Your supervisor will provide you with additional safety information and training, but always remember that it's up to you to work and act safely and to learn and follow our policies and procedures. Our safety obligation is to provide all employees and guests with a safe and healthful environment. Your obligation is to be aware of safety and potential hazards and to act safely on the job and at home. You have this obligation to yourself, your family, and the company. A safety program and safe working conditions alone cannot prevent accidents and injuries. Each employee is responsible and accountable for safety awareness and safety behavior. What do we mean by safety awareness? Well, safety awareness is reporting to work on time, rested, alert, and ready to go. It's watching traffic patterns to avoid collisions with other employees and customers. Safety awareness is checking for unsafe conditions, such as slippery floors. It's reporting broken equipment or equipment with missing parts. And it's not putting your hands in the trash to avoid hand injuries from broken glass. Safety behavior is following procedures properly and not taking shortcuts. Any time you may save doing a job too fast, you'll lose many times over if you get hurt. Pain, doctor's visits, paperwork, and time off work aren't worth it. Safety behavior is using a safety glove when using knives or cleaning the meat slicer and using the right knife for the job. It's using an ice scoop for ice, not a glass or other glass object. Why all this emphasis on safety awareness and behavior? Accident statistics compiled worldwide in all industries indicate that 85 to 98 percent of all work accidents are the result of unsafe acts of employees. Unsafe acts include carelessness, negligence, or violation of the safety rules or job procedures. Now, this doesn't mean that employees don't always think about safety when they're working. Restaurants are fast-paced, constantly changing work environments. Everyone's trying to provide the best service possible or keep up with their daily workload. Accidents happen when you are not aware of safety hazards or not thinking about the job you're doing. Don't go on autopilot. Pay attention to safety. Most accidents are preventable. Safety equipment and procedures exist for a reason. Many people have been hurt and are still getting hurt on the job. The hazards are not going to go away, so act safely at all times, at work and at home. Safety applies to our dress code. Jewelry and rings are not permitted. They can get caught on moving parts of machines, equipment, or simple things like chairs and utensils. Wearing jewelry has caused injuries on the job. Wear proper shoes with a low heel to prevent slipping on wet floors. Cooks are to wear hats, and long hair is to be tied back or confined under a hat. Now let's spend a little time reviewing fire safety and fire extinguisher use. The first thing to remember is that life safety is much more important than property. Don't try to extinguish a fire unless you're sure you can do so. If you can't extinguish a fire safely, call the fire department and let them handle the situation. Evacuate the store, even if it's a small fire, and call the fire department just in case, because small fires spread quickly, and every second counts in the firefighting business. Know where the fire extinguishers are in your work area. All extinguishers must be inspected at least once a month. Inspected to make sure they're clean. The pin is sealed on the handle to indicate it hasn't been used. And of course, to check the gauges for the correct pressure. Report any problem to your supervisor. If the need to use a fire extinguisher arises, remember, pass. Pull the pin, aim the nozzle, 
squeeze the handle and sweep from side to side. Pass. Stand about eight feet from the fire because the blast from the extinguisher can spread the fire if you're too close. If there is a fire on the grill or stove, a mist sprinkler system will activate so hot grease or food isn't spread around. The restaurant industry's most frequent and serious accidents are slips and falls, back injuries from lifting, cuts, and burns. Slips and falls are often classified as unsafe acts. Let's explain. If you walk, don't run, and watch where you're going, you won't fall down. If the floor is wet, that's the time to watch where you're going and be extra cautious. If you see food on the floor, clean it up immediately. Even if you don't slip on it, a fellow employee or guest may. Take that extra few minutes to clean it up. If the hazard or spill is beyond your control, report it to management immediately so it can be corrected before an accident occurs. Other precautions include using the wet floor sign when mopping, putting all cleaning equipment away, such as brooms, mops, and buckets after each use to prevent people from tripping, and using the proper ladder or step stool to reach something. Never stand on boxes, equipment, or stacks of food containers. We'll all be doing a lot of lifting, and there is a way to lift safely. Lifting will be covered in detail in another program, but here are a few basics to remember. Safe lifting means using your legs to lift, not your back. Bend your knees, but keep the natural curvature of your spine. Your back is a delicate and complex piece of machinery. Your discs are like soft hockey pucks and act as shock absorbers between the bones. When you bend over and lift like this, the discs are pinched and can be damaged. When you lift with your legs and keep the natural curvature of your spine, the weight is evenly distributed on the discs and there is little or no pinching. Also, your ligaments, which are like rubber bands, can stretch and tear. Back injuries are very painful and need not happen. They're also preventable. Back injuries are considered unsafe acts. Even if you're picking up a piece of paper, bend your knees. You don't have to be picking up something heavy to hurt your back. But if the object is heavy, get help. Lift safely at home also. If the lifting position is awkward and you can't bend your knees, use a free hand for support or brace your legs against a counter or sink or get help. Cuts on the job usually occur with knives, the meat slicer, or broken glass. Keep all knives sharp and use the safety glove. Cut away from your body using even pressure. Don't force anything. Carry knives with the tip pointed to the floor and don't hand knives to other people. Set them down on the counter and let the other person pick it up. Always use the right knife for the job and never use a knife to open cans or anything else it isn't intended for. Never leave knives lying around or put them in water-filled sinks. Don't use a knife sharpener if you're not trained to do so and always use a cutting board. This will prevent slipping and unpredictable movements of the knife. When using an electric slicer, always use the automatic feed. Do not use your hands. Wear the safety gloves when cleaning slicer blades. Safety guards should be in place. When the food becomes too thin, turn the slicer off and finish cutting with a knife. Finally, always turn the slicer knob back to zero when not in use to reduce blade exposure and unplug the slicer when cleaning. When dealing with broken glass, remember, never stick your hands in the trash. This is where all broken glass eventually ends up. Never put broken glass or dishes in the bus trays and send them to the dish machine operator. Throw them away. Obviously, you never handle broken glass with your bare hands. Use a dustpan and broom. Dish machine operators, servers, and bus persons must inspect china and glassware before using. Place broken glass in designated containers or areas. Always use a metal or plastic ice scoop for ice, not a glass. If any glass breaks near food,
throw away all food that may be contaminated with tiny shards of glass. The main thing to remember about burns is that if something is capable of being hot, treat it like it is hot. Always use proper oven mitts or pads. Don't move too fast when carrying hot containers of food or grease. Get help if necessary. Handles of coffee pots, frying pans, and other utensils should be turned in and not left sticking out. Follow all safety precautions when cleaning grills and ovens. Food containers should never be filled more than three quarters full to prevent spills. Do not overload fryer baskets or lean over the fryer as you load. Be careful when serving coffee. Take your time. Now, this all sounds like common sense, and it is. But as we said before, accidents happen when you're not thinking about the job. Realize that you can get hurt and take the steps to prevent it. Be aware. Be safety conscious. Now, let's take a look at some common situations that have caused accidents. We've talked about a lot of things, and we certainly can't cover all the safety requirements for your job. It's up to you to use your good judgment and make the decision to perform every job safely. In the event you experience an accident or injury, it must be reported to your supervisor when it occurs, not hours or days later. If first aid or medical treatment is required, it will be provided. We want every employee to have prompt, professional medical treatment when required. Report accidents even if there is no injury involved. We want to investigate the accident so we may be able to prevent a similar accident in the future. Our goal is to be accident free and with your help it can happen. <laughs>